In this video, I'll show you how to create a floor plan for your project. We'll begin by adding walls. Click on the straight wall button in the toolbar to activate the wall drawing tool. If you double click on the button, the straight wall tool will stay activated even after you finish drawing a wall. Move the cursor to the area where you want your wall to begin. Click and drag the cursor to begin drawing your wall. Clicking once specifies a corner and allows you to continue drawing. As you see, the wall length is shown when drawing a wall. To complete it, simply double click. Simply select and drag a wall to move it. You also see the area measurement for each room. Double click on them to add custom comments. You can change the thickness and length of walls in the Object Properties tab of Inspector. Simply select the wall and use the Wall Thickness and Wall Length stepper controls, or simply type the measurement in the box. You can also change the wall length and direction in the 2D view by dragging the dots at the end of the walls. Using Master Walls also allows you to change the wall properties. You can apply these templates before or after the creation of a wall. To change the wall molding, use the tools in Inspector. Select a side of the wall and change the crown, base, or trim type by using the drop down menus in Inspector. Please note that you shouldn't create gaps for doors and windows, as creating closed contour rooms triggers the automatic creation of floors and ceilings. If you want to add a door or window, or a doorway, all you have to do is just drag it and drop it onto the wall. In addition to the automatic ceilings and floors, you have the ability to create custom ones. Custom ceilings, floors, and ceiling openings are all created in the same way. Select the corresponding tool and click on the canvas to begin drawing. After the creation of your custom ceiling or floor, you can add and remove contour points. You can also change the size and other characteristics of ceiling openings using the stairs and slab openings tool in Inspector. Next, we'll work with Stories. To add a story, you should use the Tools in the Building Properties tab of Inspector. You can add stories above or below the current one. We'll add an upper story. As you see, the new story has the same dimensions as the initial story. This can be changed by moving and resizing the walls. To switch between stories, click on them in Inspector. You can also make any story the ground floor. The stories below the ground floor become the basement. To change the slab thickness and story height, use the stepper controls in this type of inspector. To delete a story, select it and click the X button. Now our floor plan is ready. You can easily review your floor plan using the pan and zoom tools. The project is automatically created in the 3D mode. All of the changes you make in the 2D view take place in real time. 